So I'm taking apart the uh, D17 engine that uh, I put in this 2001 Honda Civic a while ago. <coughs> and from the looks of it, it probably spun a rod. You see all the chunks down here? It actually went through the crank. These are all the parts that's been sitting in, in rainwater for a while. Went through here. It's one of the old cat elder oh, bearings. So we're just gonna continue taking it apart. See how burnt that that crank is right there. Yeah, okay. even broke through. I guess this is a like a strengthening girdle or a, like an oil passage. Yep, it gets oil passage over here. This is one of the caps right there. So we're gonna keep on disassembling this. All right, so we're taking the engine apart now. I'm gonna fast forward through this stuff. This was sitting out in the weather for a long time. Water and debris has gotten into it because I knew I wasn't gonna use the engine anymore. Here we're just trying to figure out, just to go through it and take it apart, kind of dissecting it. That's a piece of uh, connecting rod that was there, cap. Here I'm trying to take the dampener off. You know, I'm not trying to be careful. I'm just trying to take it apart. I don't probably don't probably not using all the right tools, but who cares? I think that's the timing belt. Tensioner. Bucket of random tools. I think it was a pretty big size Allen bolt that was stuck uh, there. I finally got it out. I don't know if this was the like some kind of oil pump, some kind of oil gallery. Everything is frozen onto the crank. Obviously, you don't ever want to use a hammer and hit the uh, crank like that. But like I said, we're just trying to take things apart. We don't care about it. Now one of the connecting rods is uh, still seized onto the crank itself. The previous owner who had this car or this engine said he was just on the highway driving and he heard some noise and it blew. So obviously people drive the heck out of their cars, but you don't really expect this to happen. Yeah, you see everything is seized. So I think we decided just to leave that in there. We're going to turn the engine over. Now we're going to start disassembling the top end. There goes the big effing hammer. When in doubt, she used a big hammer. This intake I kind of found difficult to remove. It's a couple of hidden bolts that you can't really access. I think that's where we're struggling right now. So I think we're going to try and pull the head off now, or we're still going to try and take off the intake.
Yeah, some of these uh, bolts were kind of tight to get to because um, the impact sockets are pretty thick. So you can't put them flat down. There we go. We got the head off. The head looked okay. Obviously, it's rusty because it was sitting outside, but no uh, valve damage. I'm still trying to take the intake off. There we go. That's, if you see some water, that was dripping in there. All right, so we just finished disassembling it. It wasn't like we we're trying to keep this engine at all. Just wanted to take it apart. As you can see from underneath, something happened to this bearing, or something seized over here, and caused catastrophic failure. Let me turn this over. Obviously. This was sitting out a while in the rain, but that piston would not move. I don't know if it's due because of the rain or just because of how bad uh, it overheated. Um, this is the head over here. It's actually pretty. It's actually pretty light. The crank. This is the crank over here. Valve. And spark plugs but yeah this is the uh, disassembly of the engine finally that was the main reason why it blew up probably overheated or uh, starvation of oil yeah guys thanks for watching